Hello there. Hey. Would you like some placebo? What are you I'm a local pastafarian preacher from the cult of the flying spaghetti monster. So I'm having uh, handing out new members to uh, free oh placebo. Sugar, to yes, members. that is a placebo, isn't it? It's in fact the purest placebo you can <laughs> yes, get I in America today. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Not sold in stores. Yeah, <clears throat> especially the raw kind. Yeah, it is the uh, the drug that all other drugs are measured against. Are you guys pastafarians? No. Uh, I wouldn't say a practicing pastor. Cool. Will yeah. you understand the uh, art efforts? Yeah. Well, just as a, just to, to let you know, uh, I've been doing this for about two years, and uh, downtown, in front of the state capitol, there's a Ten Commandments monument uh -huh. on public land, and so if we had any sort of power, that's where we would put that. So if you want to go to my YouTube channel and uh, sort of add your voice to ours, certainly would be appreciated at yeah. your leisure. Yeah. It is just a joke, so <laughs> don't take it too seriously. Yeah. Otherwise, I mean, look what happens. <laughs> yes, right. Well, thank you very much. You know, no, thank I'll you. Let's just save one. Yeah, married, so. uh, well, okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. and also you can have some placebo. It definitely will make you feel better. The science will prove it. You know what? Um, I'm hold off. All right. Yeah. Let me know. Sugar doesn't make us feel better. You'd be surprised after you call it placebo. You'd be surprised what happened. The right. whole point is you can't stop the placebo effect. That's true. It's a bit stronger than we give it credit yeah. for. Yeah. Uh, and all of these sunk cost fallacies. We we've got to. So that's why I say cult is yeah, because, yeah. I mean, it's we. Really we are, we're in it before we know, and uh -huh. everything we do is very cultic. But thank, th you. thank you for stopping. Yeah. See you online. Yeah. 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 <coughs> Please do not be alarmed. I know I look crazy. I'm not a merely religious. My name is Kitsrena Mitch. I'm a preacher from the cult of flying spaghetti monster. I come down here to Parfait Park quite often uh, throughout the year to preach and uh, talk. We do have placebo for new members. If you'd like to become a member of the Cult of Flying Spaghetti Monster, I am uh, ordained to do that for you. I can help you on your path. You can have more truth in your life. You can exercise mythology from your brain, which of course is your duty. I have heard your creator and I can show you his visions. You don't need an intercessory anymore. You can speak directly to your creator and he, in turn, will speak to you. For if he spoke to anyone, he must love us equally. And what is love but time? Time spent. How ought it be measured? Oh, flying spaghetti monster, we come before you today, this, the holiest of days, Friday, the tgif of days, the sauciest and warmest of the days, please do look down upon us on this lovely day. Or, you know, keep doing what it is you were doing anyway. For we don't really need you here, but we are here for you. In the name of truth and love and flying spaghetti monster, Ramay. Ladies and gentlemen, I know I look strange. I'm not crazy, I'm merely religious. Today I have for members Perceiver, members of the cult of the Flying Spaghetti Monster, the one true cult on this earth. If you would like to join, I can make that possible for you. You don't have to take the placebo, although I do recommend it. You cannot deny that it will make you feel better when you take it. Placebo is the drug that none of us can ignore. It is hardwired in. Even when we know it's placebo, when we're told we can't stop it from working. It is the challenge, it is the dare. To understand the optical illusion that is placebo. Hello. How are you doing? I'm super good. Perfect. Would you like some placebo? It's free. Um, some what? Placebo. Have you heard of placebo? Do you know what it is? Like cold. Yeah, I know, I know what placebo is, but I'm just wondering. Like, yes, this is the purest placebo sort of that you can get. Placebo. It Pardon? Is. What sort of placebo? What do you mean by sort of placebo? Well, placebo is just basically something that How? doesn't actually do anything, but you think that it does something. So you're supposed to be selling it to me, right? As a mm. placebo. So yeah. what are you selling it to me as? Well, I what suppose does it do? I suppose if you want to sort it in that way, I would claim that it's a general placebo. I believe that if you were to take this placebo, you couldn't deny that positive things would happen to you, and they are definitely the consequence I'm of your in. choosing. Well, it's not quite ready yet. Okay. Because what you have there is just raw sugar. Oh, okay. Let me prepare it for you. Yeah, if I get really high, I'm going to be really pissed. The fact. Are you not already really high? <laughs> I'm kind of drunk. Oh, okay. Not high. <laughs> well, well, 
If you have anything to blame, definitely blame the alcohol. <laughs> and if there's any positive yeah. happenings, definitely blame this. And Ooh, that thing that we just stamp on did it. there is called um, confirmation bias. Ooh, so go ahead and have some delicious confirmation bias as well as you like some placebo. I've got another one. You do? No, I'm good, yeah. Good I, cool. I can also cure you of other placebos that might be uh, distracting you in your life. There's lots of lots <laughs> yeah. of things that we take as placebos it's that... It's very hard to yeah. distract <laughs> me from. Uh, from life. Oh, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's going to be sweet. I, I tell me it's it going to be tart. Uh, I just buy it off the shelf in the market. It smells That's, tart. Does it? It's definitely going to be tart. They say it's I in the rule. I tart over sugar. It's going to be sugar, isn't it? I'll no, have one with you if you, if, you, if you want. You're not breaking salesman on placebos. Is that well, I think you're about to eat it. I think I'm better <laughs> than you think, shall we? Yeah. All right. That looks like the sugar from Starbucks. Don't ruin my placebo. Oh, I'm you sorry. To fuck up. What's your call? What's the cult of the Flying Spaghetti right Monster? Have you ever heard of it? Oh my gosh, yes. I'm a pacifier and stream preacher. I've been doing this for a number of years. My YouTube information is on here. Um, you can see all my videos there. Uh, What's like, your name? Uh, it's Kids for an Image. Oh, okay. And you? James. James. And Mike. Mike. James yeah, and Mike. Pastafarian. That's me. Pastafarian. That's right. I don't get the reference. Um, the creator of this reality is the Flying Spaghetti Monster. And there's another religion called Rastafarians, and so our detractors made a nickname Pastafarian to sort of make fun of us, mm. but we sort of wear it as a badge like the Mormons do. Right. You get it. Why right. does it expire? When, when does what expire? Why does it expire? What, I don't it follow your question. It says it expires in 2060. Oh, oh, yeah. oh the, uh, because a cult older than a certain age is definitely dead. They only have a certain, certain lifespan. So if you belong to a cult that's o older than you, there's a good chance that it's dead. And in fact, you should take responsibility for making your own cult because only young cults are good. All the old ones are like really poisonous and start. <coughs> so over 42 society. years is bad? Uh, it really depends on the cult, okay. but I don't know of any cult over 42 years that hasn't turned into a um, parasite, shall we say? Okay. Like yeah. a hate group or. Uh, when <laughs> it's interesting, yeah, it's what, it really. Eventually, someone gets. All I can say is, no one has been murder. murdered in the name of flying spaghetti monster. This is true. And there are very few cults that can say that, unfortunately. And um, I'm not saying someone will be murdered by that date. I hope nobody is murdered right. ever in the name of flying spaghetti monster. But something will have crept in by that time, and the people in that age should really find their own truth. Flying spaghetti monster talks to us all the time. And if we're listening to last generation's message, we're missing the new stuff. So, you know. Huh. So uh, it is a true cult to get people out of the old poisonous cults because what it's are the, the old benefits of your cult as opposed to other cults. Um, there is an inoculative benefit that if you understand the, fly the cult of the flying spaghetti monster and what it's asking of you, and then you connect those ideas to cultism. You can hear them better when other cults are saying them to you. Cults that don't confess to you that they're cults, that pretend that there may be churches or political groups or, right. or nations or other ideologies like that. Um, because not just religious groups are cults. They, um, some can say that uh, North Korea is a cult, or communism or capitalism or any of these yeah, ideas are very... Or capitalism. Mm, yeah. Right. Okay. And, so, and so we need to treat cults like they are and, uh, because that's right. what they are. Right. And okay. it's okay, yeah, everything's a cult. It's okay, we live in a world of them. So the confessing moment. that you're one I don't think is very very detrimental. Okay. Now yeah. we are here right now. So do you meet up or uh, well we are we are um, pretty persecuted at the moment and so most of our members are, are what closeted. Do you mean you're a heritage? Like there are there are some heritage. estimations that people who don't heritage? claim to be any religion Right. make up yeah, about a quarter of this country and we think most of those are actually closeted pastafarians yeah, that are just worried about confessing who they are because then they can never run for say no, senator we're, we're because the there's no <laughs> atheist senators there's we're no pastafarian right senators that's true. That's there are true. some that hinted it but they they yeah, specifically are lying about this thing and if this is an idea of morality why must we lie about this if this is no. my real religion don't why am I being the one asked to lie about it right. and so we think our argument is very valid. We think it has power. There's a Ten Commandments monument at the uh, 
yes. downtown. And if we had power, we would use it to remove that from public land and rebuild the separation of church and state. And we think one of the only ways to communicate to some of these people is with satire. Yeah. And so, yeah. I appreciate you uh, stopping by. What is it that brings you to the park today? Oh, just hanging out. That's cool. Checking out the sunshine. I'm not gonna lie. Let me be totally brutally honest with you. Creeping. Yeah. Checking What's out that? women. Uh, oh, you, oh, yeah. that's cool. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, I can, I can. There's lots. I can of understand that. This is a college town, right? There's like two yes. colleges yeah. here. It uh -huh. is plentiful. Yes. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. There were yes. It, I didn't. It, it is I fucking time already for the weather, you know? though. I come, I come yeah. about twice a month, once a month. Yeah, Paul yeah it's been cold. It's been, you know, it goes okay, from so we're gonna walk just dead and dirt and do shitty to so just like. We will meet up with you here oh, yeah. so quick. It's very yeah. nice. Are you not from the state? Don't be bitch. Well, I I grew up in uh, uh, California and I live in Bailey. Okay. So we've got even a shorter summer. Is that uh, a fucking mosquito? Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's it switches like a liar. It just is like. Fall to summer, yeah, like or well, spring to summer, Last just goes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. But I mean, well, anyways, I can't complain about it because I've been waiting for this all year. This is the best. Yeah, uh, Mike and uh, James. James, that's yeah, right. You gotta like do something with your cult. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, well I'm. You, for instance, uh, offer like a lot of like oral sex. Have you ever met anyone that's like upset after getting like oral sex once a day, every day? The, right? the interesting thing is the sort of male to female ratio on that is not really something that, like it's not really a selling point. I think most of the time is yeah. it doesn't need to be. But if it that can works, be male to male or female to female, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm that's trying. Like that's accepted out here. I'm now. just saying. It's true. Like, you like, have you have some sort of like an angle. Like yeah. on the card, like I just put like subliminal images of sort of right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Or yeah. Or like TV ads or yeah. flickers. Oh uh, yeah, that's, I, that is very. I've good. seen it on MTV. Yeah. Before yeah. And like, what do like, they do? Like, stones, just like subliminal messages, like we're in between like the frames of like the switch over from like video to video. It's right. Just, like, and then they you show. You see it, and you're like. What would you what what, what like what? if I if for a pasta firing message? What would I put there? I don't know. Like, what are you trying to sell? Like, well, that's really the question. Tr truth, the quest for truth, the skepticism, and uh, the ability to see through uh, optical the optical illusions of the fallacies that, that trick us. True well, religion. You know, I'm trying honestly, to sell true religion. Um, I don't think you need to think more than that, really. Yeah. You just need to deliver it better. What do you mean by better? Um, you know what I mean. Instead of like starting off with like. You know, it's like a cold, like the placebo thing. Uh -huh. Like people generally look at that as like so easy. Yeah, ease into it. Yeah, ease into it and just like give people like the information right off the bat. People are way more receptive to like the mm. actual like hardcore like mm. facts and information. That's generally why I have as, this. As I, I suppose to I took a very long time to get that to you. Usually, I'm handing that's it basically out. Like, yeah. yeah, basically shunned by like hardcore yeah. media. Like people are fed this bullshit like placebo, like cold. It's all like Who's negative selling, Who else is selling placebo? I'm just saying, it's like negative mm. connotations that people have. Like, they immediately just shut down after that. You know what I'm saying? So well, instead, they, still um, the actual facts. Like, get your facts straight, deliver the facts, and facts. then go into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever your facts are. Like, you know what I mean? Whatever Do you feel selling. better now that you've had that placebo? Can you feel it in your mouth? Is it pleasant? I accepted it. Yes, I do. <laughs> and, it, and it just sort of Excellent. makes things a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, better. I still yeah. get the sugar aftertaste. It's yeah. Great. Oh, I've got some water. Would you like some? I mean, I've been. No. Yeah, I mean, no, it is my water. Oh, uh, yeah. But anyways, all I'm saying is mm -hmm. basically, like, there's so much, like, negative press involved, mm -hmm. with, like, a lot of the shit that you're saying, that, like, people just immediately shut down as soon as you say, like, one or the other. Well, like, but that is. You don't, even, you don't even get to actually make your point. But that's the connection I'm trying to break, that connection right there, that. All cults are bad. I'm not one of the bad cults. I'm one of the good ones. I'm not saying you are. Right. I'm I, not passing judgment on you. What I'm saying is that you're more likely to run into people who are going to completely shut down immediately. Yeah. As soon as you talk about like the placebo, you know, I mean, like I'm more open to it. Like, mm -hmm. I've, I've thought about a lot of this shit. Right. But the people so that I shut down are not really the people you, that I'm you know, trying to talk like, to. It's yeah, the give people. Yeah. the placebo like is different. You know what I'm saying? Because you because these words didn't frighten you. No. But you right. can get the people no, that shut down too. But I can't talk to them. Nobody can. That's the whole point. The whole point is we've There's been gotta trying. Be a way. I, I, gotta I agree be with a way. that There's statement. A way. I agree with that statement. There's totally a way. The people, There's got to be. I agree with you, and I can't not. I and I believe that's a faith statement. But that's a religious it's, statement. It's, it's because the people who are trying to search people. for it find no answer. There is a man called Anthony Magdabosco that's close. He's very good. 
And I, 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 I met him, I interviewed him. You can see my interview with him on my YouTube channel. And he's very close. He does a thing called street epistemology. Have you heard of it? No. No. It's very interesting, but basically you just ask people not what they believe, but why? How? And, and it's, sort of, it. it's sort of past why. It's yeah. how did you determine this? What methods did you use? Let's identify it's that. Not, it's generally not right. And, and is that generally something we can trust? And so he does that, and it requires a lot of patience, which uh, I'm not promising. And uh, it also requires. Um, Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles. I, I went to high school in. Uh, well, where does your accent come from? Uh, it comes. Uh, it is fictional. It's uh, Unc Morpork accent from uh, from uh, the Discworld. But if I were to talk normally, I'd talk like this. Oh, but okay. uh, every religious preacher. You talk like this. Well, I suppose because so. That's more inviting to I me. suppose so, but I generally have just like <laughs> I've been I've been I've been doing it for Don't like laugh. years. It's, it's very true. like it's a rut at the moment. Yeah. But uh, so. No, I, that is. Uh, the, the, these are the arguments that this is. The point is, this is where we're exploring is this idea of. I mean, if I could prove to someone that this 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 world is millions of years old, maybe they can believe that it will last another million and take care of it, like we ought to. But I mean, you can't make promises that you don't know. It might not last another million years. What do you, you mean know? by it? What do you mean by the it? world? It might not last. What do you mean by years? The rock that we're on. Yeah. What it do you mean? Not, as far as like life what? itself. What astronaut could hear? I guess, so I life? guess technically. So the, the, if the, the, the you're talking about is life, I, I agree with you. Will probably last. But if you if we're talking about mammalian life, if we're talking about human life, yeah, we might destroy ourselves yeah. incredibly soon. We yeah. might remove all life on this planet, and then this planet will create it again. And uh, this planet doesn't all really give a shit. And no, uh, and so if we treated it more like that, we would get better results out of that. If we believe in a mythology, okay. we're going to but miss some ideas. You're place. preaching against like basically sociology, like the construct of society, basically. Yes. So, you know what I mean? You're yeah. not going to win on that. No, we've got to win or we're going to burn this planet. Yeah, you're, you've got to win. Or, we, totally or this agree, planet will burn. Every human will die. Going to. Maybe but, that's what it needs. You know what I mean? Right, but remember that hope that you had a moment ago? That there has to be a solution? I feel that hope I too. I used to have hope. I feel both of those things, the <laughs> things that you've just expressed. Yeah. You, you, you express a desperation, and I feel your desperation, I know it. I talk to these people, and fucking none of them hear me, none of them. Oh, I yeah. talk to all of them. That's what well, I'm saying. And so like, I feel the desperation, be, but I feel the delivery. hope. It's close well, lines. Well, majority of the population. But I'm not the only one delivering this, this idea. I'm just sort of trying to explore specifically. What happens if you bring cult very quickly? What happens if you bring that word as quick as possible? Because there's, nobody else is exploring that. The problem is there's so many negative conversations yeah, with cult. Right. You cannot use cult. If, to, if you want if you to want avoid to the apply, negative connotations, right? Exactly. I don't. I, apply, I want to overcome the negative connotations. I, I want people who are in cults, cults to confess that they are also in cults. And the only way but I can do that is to confess that I am in one fact. People, people don't realize that cults can be good or bad. Like, right, they don't. Be, so I've got to know, be the good one. Because there's no good ones. But people don't. There's they got don't to connect, be a good though. one. I'll connect it. I'll, I'm on. I mean, it, it will take a while, and I've got nothing else to do. My kids are sort of. They don't want to hang out with me anymore. They're how like. How high many people shit. do you think you've talked to today that have like? Oh, I've actually I, talked to you, like me and him. Uh, two. <laughs> Including <laughs> us, right? Uh, one, two. <laughs> and uh, a couple before you, I handed out some things, and I got here very seem recently. Like interested? Did they seem like they got they, it. They or? took a card, and we talked about about yeah, because I'm not talking to the faithful because you can't talk to them. They've got to come to you. They've got to be like, what are you talking about? And I don't have the patience to be a good I feel like that's a piss poor attitude. Just, and, I understand. And, and, I understand your you argument. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, but you've got to, I'm taking if that. If you're going to like do the actual work, you've got to convince people. You can't just... Convince them of what? Whatever you're selling. What are you selling? Convince selling, me. I am selling a mirror. Okay. That's all. Right? Okay. Describe. Uh, further. You only can condemn in a cult what you're afraid cults can do to you. And the reason you know a cult can do that is because you're in a cult that's doing it to you. And if you see your brother being harmed by your abusive father, you can protect him quicker than you can protect yourself. Because that's just how it works. We, we succumb to abusive fathers like an abusive father in the sky. But when he abuses our sisters, we can protect them 
from the abuse because we can see it there. And so if they're afraid that I'm in a cult, they can say, this is what's wrong with cults. And it's only when they say, this is what's wrong with cults, they realize it's happening to them in their, in their lives. When I tell them something new about the Bible, even though I confess I'm in a cult, they wonder why their preacher didn't ever tell them that and why the truth is coming from the wrong side. And that's the mirror. So I'm not saying I totally disagree with you. All yeah. I'm saying is, like, your delivery's got to change. In order, if the I want what results, to, if, exactly, if, if what, exactly. what results would I get if I changed that? I don't know. More what? I don't know, but you're you're the one that's out here. I'm uh -huh. not out here. No, I, I'm, but no, I feel I'm like saying. I'm getting what I want. And, and so that's, that's, I... Saturation, man. You need to hit more people. I, okay. You know what I'm saying? I do know so that it's valuable need, to have all saturation. All you need to do is you need to like look at like how many people you're reaching, what mm. you're saying, and then modify it to reach more people. Yeah, I agree. But Just don't you believe that that is the frame shaping the art? And uh, you can't have true art unless you let the art shape the frame? I agree, but people mm. are not artistic anymore. Right, but yeah, I, mean, like, I don't have happen. to convince people, like, all the okay, people. So I just like, have to even, find my like, audience. For instance, like yeah. the people that I work with, yeah, dude, they're like almost completely incapable yeah. <clears throat> of forming rational thoughts and yes. opinions based on like what they see from day to day. That's true, they can't even do that. Right, That's you true. know what I'm saying? Because so, they're not being taught you, anywhere. Right. And so Where, you know, all, all I'm saying is that. But I'm not going to teach people, them either. They've got to teach themselves. That's the whole it's point. It's not going to happen. Because you got you got like. Uh, fucking basically a sociological construct uh -huh. that's way bigger than you. It's got way more voices than you. And have. momentum, yes, it's yes, yes. But it's not bigger than them the exact it's not opposite. bigger than us. All you need to do and is I don't have you, to need, be... you need to basically like converse with people. Yeah, and like, like we're doing now. Exactly. Yeah. But do you mind if I put this on the internet? <clears throat> what you're conversing with them about? Yeah. Basically. And, and, and just modify it to them specifically and but how they're to, feeling. But it's modified to you specifically. You're the one I'm trying to talk to today, James. Not, me, yes. Right. But I'm already on the same page as you. So but that's, that's who I'm trying to talk different. to. I'm not trying like, to convert we, we differ. I can, I can right. tell by like what you're talking about. Right, like, right, right. We, we definitely differ. But uh, like the same baseline of... Like, what I'm trying to do is to get you in future conversations identify as a Pastafarian. No. I, I believe that <laughs> you will. I identify I believe as a James Black. Cool. That's and if someone says, "What well, religion is James Black?" I and you and they had to pin you down, I want you to feel <laughs> like Pastafarian makes your argument, and uh, and that's sort of what I'm selling. I'm selling that atheists aren't atheists. If we are atheists, we're going to lose. Yeah. Because the point is, they put because their name on them already, on our money. There's already basically like a really big stigma yeah. on atheism. Yeah, we cannot you're be either, You're either athe atheism, like way yeah. down this road, or you're fucking religious way down yeah. this road. The senators the are, are all is, crazy religious. People don't know there's, there actually is right. give and take with everything. So if I can get the atheists to, to identify as pastafarians, that say, moves the conversation. Can you put this on the internet? Do you mind? Can no, I put this on YouTube? Cool. I'm filming it over here. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Can they hear me? I'm saying. I have a cam uh, microphone right here. Oh my I won't goodness. put this on if you like, don't want funny. me to. No, you're fine. I, <laughs> uh, well, I have that. I actually, that's a, that's the thing we're doing today. The other thing I'm doing is I've got a talk show. I do a street talk so, show, I'm and feeling one kind of the things sick from that sugar is that right? I'm, just kidding. I'm pretty sure that was whatever happened before. That uh, was something. What were we going to blame all the bad stuff on again? Mm, it was something. Do you remember? Uh, I don't how hot know. it is. Let's just blame that on how it's hot, hot it is. Yeah. And all the good things are definitely the, the placebo because nothing bad is in there. It's nothing. It's just sugar. Sugar. Yeah, raw right. sugar. So you can't say anything bad is its fault. No, but no, you I'm can say all the good things are its fault. And sure. so it really is just going over the uh, fallacies that educates the opposite side about them. Because, uh, yeah, that's what... That's, it, it, the atheists are quiet. We're losing as atheists. But we won't lose as pastafarians. We'll be part of the table. We'll be part of the conversation. And some of us have to look ridiculous because religion is hey. ridiculous. Hey, what cult is there? There's the cult of the flying spaghetti monster. Have you ever awesome. heard of it? Are you a pastafarian? A what? Pastafarian? 
Yeah, uh, totally. Have All you heard right. of the pasta pie inside? Step right up and eat some sugar. Do you know who Flying Spaghetti Brown Master pouch. is? <laughs> no, no, I don't. My YouTube information is on there and you can learn all about it there. Wow, also, awesome. for new members today, I, I'm offering uh, free samples of placebo. Do you know what placebo is? Um, yeah, I don't really eat sugar, so that would be, so that would be really it difficult for raw, me. Are you sure you don't eat sugar? sugar? And it's actually got the yeah, properties of honey, so it'll actually make you... I'm actually on a water cleanse resistant. right now, so... Water yeah, I'm sorry. So you're using sorry. water as your placebo? Yes, I am, actually. How's it working for you? It's, it's pretty great. Would you like me to bless it in the name of Flying Spaghetti Monster? I would Monsters love so that. That, that would be really awesome. <laughs> Do you have it with you? It was nice speed, yeah. You Do I have well. my water? Uh, <laughs> Um, James. James. Yeah, yeah sorry. Huh? And uh, Mike. Mike. Yep. Yeah. And uh, okay. yeah, I, I will post this. If you comment to take it down, I definitely will. See you no, you're online. Fine. You go ahead. Cool. Okay. See you online. Thank you very much for stopping. Yep. Uh, you're over 18? What? It's adults only in religion. This is a religious experience. So oh, this darn. is a cult and it's, it's a source of serious. And I'm not trying, I'm not trying to say no. But there is sort of a level of understanding that we don't expect, and I'm, I, I, I. So, what is this religion about? It's about the flying spaghetti monster. Have you heard of him? No. Uh, my information is on that card, and you can Google it. It is a, it is a, one of the major religions on the earth uh, today, and I am the local preacher of that religion. I'm kind of worried about this religion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for stopping. I'll, I'll see you uh, hopefully in a few years. Do step right up if you have any questions on true cult on the sir, the cult of flying spaghetti monster. The first pastafarian cult of YouTube. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. I doubt it. Let's see. As I said before, I'm a real preacher from the cult of flying spaghetti monster. If you have any questions, do step right up. I have my credentials here. If you would like to see them, I have pamphlets. If you have any questions, if you want your questions answered at another time, you can check it out on my website here, theonetruecult.com. Uh, please do check it out at your leisure. The first pastifying cult of YouTube. Please do join today. I have my notes here for my sermons. I must confess that I am a prophet. I've got some friends who are also prophets of flying spaghetti monster who unfortunately are reluctant prophets. Prophets with the truth that they have yet to say. Something that flying spaghetti monster put in their mind, in vision or dream or an imagination, a reality that we could have in the future. These prophets can see it. The future that Flying Spaghetti Monster has promised. And that these prophets fear that if they were to identify themselves, the general population would harm them. I have felt this fear as a prophet of Flying Spaghetti Monster. Pretty quickly after I received my first vision from Flying Spaghetti Monster, I realized that it was beneficial to me to hide the truth. It is the first time I saw the value of a lie, was when I realized Flying Spaghetti Monster had spoken to me. For even in my own community, it is frowned upon to say, but you have heard the voice or seen the visions of the flying spaghetti monster, for it is prideful. I say it is not, that we all must hear his voice, that he has visions for each of us, and we oughtn't be reluctant prophets, for I can tell you truly, 
But there is more happiness on the other side. When you confess those things that you know to be true, and Flying Spaghetti Monster has shown you in the name of truth and love. And you ought not be reluctant. You ought to trust reality. For though it is true, it will eventually kill you. It loves that you're here. And I believed in mythology when I was a myth believer, I, I could see the problem that the other people who believed the same myth as I only believe part of it, whereas I believed the whole thing. When I was a Christian, I understood Christianity. And I could see that some other Christians misunderstood it or ignored parts of it. And these other Christians were choosing their religion a la carte. You can see it in uh, the Shia Sunni split that half of Muslims are generally, relatively, functionally believe that the other half are not in fact Muslim. They are choosing what to believe and what to ignore. And to put it simply and bluntly, friends, there is no person that cannot do exactly this. No two people have the same religion. It is impossible. You are filtering what is in there with both your ignorance and what you choose to ignore. <laughs> things you don't yet know and things that you have refused to know. And everyone has this in the field of religion. Religions are unique. No one belongs to the religion of anyone but themselves. This is all right. This is how it works. Flying Spaghetti Monster has made a unique religion for you. Please tell us what it is. Please stand up and tell us the differences between you and those people that believe near you. Focus there. Join together and come to a better understanding of where your head is. Don't fight in the middle. Recently, uh, Another pastor, religious preacher, preaching in the name of love, said, I didn't choose this fight. This fight has come to us, and I say bring it on. This, of course, is projection. Pastor Steve Anderson is a homosexual. He condemns the homosexual community. For that is the only way he feel he can control that part of him, his evil God, condemns. I tell you, there is no difference between this formula and the 50th death in the Pulse nightclub, Omar, the forgotten victim of religion. The martyrs receive the blame. The largest victim of Allah is the Muslims. The largest victims of Joseph Smith are the Mormons. The people L. Ron Hubbard stole the most from 
are the Scientologists. I am not anti-Christian. I am anti-Christ. I believe in truth and love and brotherhood. I do not believe mythology. For mythology is poison. And you cannot call yourself an adult if you willfully lie to yourself about what is real. There will be no forgiveness for the second German. We must pull back or we will take the whole world with us. This pit is large enough for all that lives. There is nothing worthy of worship in this world other than truth. Worship of anything other than truth is a sin. You must choose not to sin. You must. This world is not yours. It is shared. Do not sin against it. It is not yours to sin against. You are borrowing it from your children. Myth believers cannot mourn when they lose. Believers in myth, believers in Valhalla. People who believe. that their loved ones will be seen again in Valhalla can never mourn can never truly believe that what is gone is lost that is untrue ladies and gentlemen there are analogies that we use to describe this world to each other there are many analogies one of which is we are a ghost living in the shell and what you can see is a shell that I am not that I what I am is the ghost that you cannot see and I tell you now meet robot if that is true you are not the ghost you are the meat. I apologize if truth offends you. I did not poison you to feel that way. If you misunderstand the analogy, you are going to sin against the world. Please take some time to get to know the world that you are sinning against. The one true cult on this earth, the cult of flying spaghetti monster. The first Pastafarian cult of YouTube, please do join today. Do join today. I can cure you of your mythology. You like your mythology? Well, when you're done with it, I can cure you. It's almost like you're not even listening to me. Maybe you haven't heard my argument yet. Because you're ignoring me. You ever thought about that? Maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. You have no idea what I'm talking about. You have only ignored me. That is irrational. You are being irrational on purpose. You have been infantilized. 
I can cure you. But you must be ready, you must want truth. You must be willing to choose truth over that which you have believed. If you must pick, which would you choose? Truth or that which you already believe? Truth is worthy of your worship. That which you already believe is imperfect. It will fail you. The one true cult on this earth, the cure for Armageddon, the only way to wake the neighbors, 